I really wish that I had about like some kind of phone holder or something here with me because I am vlogging on the fly. Um, going on to set my arm down without like shifting the whole camera. Um, so I left you last week after we had some drinks and stuff and we were having the laugh of our lives. And then um, on Monday I restarted taking tamoxifen again. Now I... <sighs> But the main reason why I started on tamoxifen again was because basically I was scared not to. As bad as the side effects and everything are, I'm frightened of not taking them and it coming back. So I thought, right, we're just going to have to give this another go. I know things now that I didn't know then, so I'm going to retry it. So I started on Monday and wasn't really able to get up. <laughs> I was absolutely wrecked with pain, but I had heard, I know I'm very off to one side here, but I'm trying my best. Is that better? There we go. Um, words. Yeah, so I had read that taking magnesium at night can help with the bone pains and also your sleep. So I started taking that. And then also on the Facebook support groups, I uh, read that taking tart cherry capsules would help with the same thing basically with the bone pains and um, the sleep so um, I bought those and started taking them um, and I will say one thing I have definitely noticed a difference and I don't get me wrong there's no like spring in my step or anything like that um, I'm still very sore but it is nowhere nearly as bad as it was whenever I wasn't taking these things um, first thing in the morning whenever I get up I do like I'd still have to take painkillers all day anyway but like first thing in the morning whenever I get up and I stand up, if I have painkillers in me, I'm actually all right. Before, even with the painkillers, it would feel like um, my ankle bones were coming out the soles of my feet. It was horrible. And I was also very like stiff and stuff like that. But I think now they're still getting into my system again, obviously. And then obviously, could could you say obviously any more times, Lana? Um, but that along with taking those, the magnesium and the tart cherry, they're definitely starting to build up in my system and I am noticing a bit of a benefit from them now. Um, it's taken like a while to get me to this point. Um, but my mood, that's one thing as well. Like my moods went down badly and it has to be from them. Um, like after the last vlog, you seen, like I was a week late with a, 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 with a bit of a hangover on the Sunday. That's why I didn't get uploading. I didn't get making my video on time. I thought I had, would have had loads of time to make the video and everything, but I didn't. So um, there's like a, a week skip here. Um, it was last, not this Monday, today's Tuesday. It wasn't yesterday, but it was the Monday before. But before I went back on to the tamoxifen, like that whole week, I'd been out four times. Every day I was waking and up and just praying that the weather was nice because all I wanted to do was get out and go for a walk, go and do something active. You know, it was like, I was really, I was blown away by myself. I'm like, what the hell? This is great. And then you start taking those, mood goes down. Obviously I was very sore and stuff like that, but it's like, God, it's like, it sucks your motivation or something. Like I'm not, I wouldn't say that I'm like depressed or anything like that, but my mood has taken like a real kick and since come back onto them. But again, I'll just, I'll wait and see. At the minute, like the main gripes that I had with um, all of the tablets, I'm kind of got a handle on now. Um, I'm sure you can see high chairs in the background. I'm actually up at my brother's house. Um, they have went to Newcastle. Um, over in the mainland that's where my brother's missus um, is from so they're away to see um, her family so I'm up looking after the cats um, up to feed them play with them just give them some company and stuff but that's why I'm in a different location than normal um, today my mood feels a bit better I think it like I don't know is there any such a thing as when like tablets affecting your motivation but then again, it's very hard to have motivation whenever you feel like crap, you know? It's hard to like force yourself to get up and do things whenever you're full of aches and pains and you're not well. But regardless, that's where I am. Um, like, I don't know if I've covered this very well. Other, I just wanted to let you know because obviously this is a vlog series on like breast cancer. So I want you need to know all these things. What, 
whether I'm restarting things and coming off things and all the rest of it. But if you guys have any questions that like I haven't mentioned now, please put them in the comments and I will answer as many as I can. I'm very scatterbrained again. I thought that that never went away until I started taking these tablets again and it just, it hit even harder. Um, so yeah, my brain's all over the place and whatnot, but I'm just, I'm hoping like I can just get on top of it and get back into the, like the wee cycle that I'd got myself into there of being able to get out and about because it, it, honest to God, it made me feel a million times better in myself. I was like, I can actually do this. I'm going somewhere. This is great. Take the tablet again. Boom. No, we can't sit down and be quiet. <laughs> so that's where I am at the minute. Um, but I'll check in with you again anyway before the um before this vlog goes out. You know, I'll have more things going on than just this. It's only Tuesday. I'm hoping I do anyway. Because if I haven't, it means that I'm not well and in bed. But we're going to push on. We're going to try our best and not let ourselves slide back too much. One thing that hasn't changed though is I am still watching what I ate and calorie counting and everything like that. I'm doing well at it. But one thing that has been hard because I haven't went up or I haven't went up. What am I talking about? See what I mean? Scatterbrained. Because I haven't been going out and stuff the way that I was. Um, like I'm having to eat 1200 calories because I'm not getting very much exercise. Um, it's like a sliding scale, the app and stuff that I use. And then my Apple Watch tracks all my calories. So the more exercise I do, it means the more that I can eat because it will only ever have me in a 200 calorie deficit every day because that's what's healthy. And this is about a change for life. Not just, you know, like a wee quick fix kind of thing. I'm trying to just change everything. Um, so again, I haven't found it hard. I thought that it would, because I do have a sweet tooth, although I only would have ate sweet things maybe once a week. Um, but I haven't found it difficult at all. And I know that a lot of people will hate me because they'll think like, I'm just trying to make it seem easy. It just hasn't been difficult for me, honestly. I find that my technique, how I done things whenever I started, um, doing this the first week I had five small meals a day so it knocked back any hunger pangs because whenever I was hungry oh a meal was coming again you know but they were just small meals um then obviously over that week my stomach had a chance to shrink and now I can eat just you know three meals and a couple of snacks a day and I'm not getting hungry at any point and I'm just making smart choices whenever it comes to food I mean, you can have anything you want, but if you eat a load of cheese, you're going to starve for the rest of the day, you know? So it's just about being sensible that way. Um, but yeah, that's my wee update so far. Um, but again, I'll talk to you again shortly. <laughs>
and excuse around the hairline that is makeup um so i have like done quite a bit this week and i know that it was a bit late um it's currently sunday now that's why i didn't put my vlog up today because i knew there was going to be more stuff that i wanted to film today and have it all in the same vlog um because we're going out for a walk and whatnot but um a few wee bits to tell you here and there um you've already seen obviously like um, all the footage and stuff from going to the farm we had the best time it was amazing if you're an animal lover it is 100% for you um obviously if you're you would take you sort of be in Belfast to go to that particular farm but it's called Streamvale Open Farm um I can remember going there as a kid with school and loving it and then obviously they started doing these date nights so um that's no kids or anything like that it's just ad adults and you get to like hold the animals and love the animals and it was just it was amazing I wanted to like take them all home with me at the end of it um so I'm in the middle of trying to like wangle Chris into letting us get a dog because I've wanted one for so long and I just it would be it would be helpful you know it would push me to make me go out every day because obviously a dog needs walked um at least twice a day so it would just push me for that you know um then the other night we were watching this documentary now let me prefix by saying I am a real horror lover like I love horror always have since it was no age at all like horror films and stuff have never frightened me um so I'd heard of this documentary and thought well that sounds like it would be right up my alley so basically it's um, a documentary by Zach Baggins and Zach Baggins is the host and producer of Ghost Adventures the TV show and like I watched Ghost Adventures the whole time through an art through treatment it's on nearly every night here in the UK and even whenever I was taken into hospital halfway through chemo um I watched Ghost Adventures while I was in hospital on the TV there um so I'm like I'm a big fan I also am not a believer in ghosts um the bible tells you not like if you're not religious then like ignore me but I am so um the bible tells you that ghosts there's no such thing as ghosts but what there is such a thing as is demons and evil spirits masquerading as humans so like I believe in that but I don't believe ever that there's ever going to be you know like our dead loved ones talking to us or anything like that I just don't believe in it so anyway this documentary is called Demon House and it is about a house in Gary Indiana I think that's right it's definitely Gary but I'm not too sure if it was Indiana I'm almost sure it was Indiana but um, it was a whole documentary that he done about that house and he ended up buying the house. Um, and anyway, I watched this documentary and it freaked me out. Something shocking. Like 
I was actually frightened and like horror movies don't even frighten me so anyway um after it was over and stuff we were sitting downstairs watching it and I like looked at Chris and I'm like I need to make something to eat. Would you stay up with me? Because I'm too scared to be in the kitchen by myself. Like an actual idiot. So um, he stayed up with me um, until I like got something to eat and whatnot. So anyway, we come up the stairs and stuff afterwards. And um, I went into the bathroom to like wash my face and brush my teeth. You know, just all the things that you do before bed. And whenever I was standing in the bathroom, I heard this big loud crash. So immediately I like almost had heart failure. And I'm like, Chris, Chris, come here. And I heard another crash. And it was like, don't be so stupid. It's just the water pipes, the make cracking noises because you're running the water in the bathroom. And I'm like, it wasn't that, it was coming from downstairs. So I had him down, like making sure that no one had broke into the house and all. I have never felt like more of an idiot in my entire life. Needless to say, there was nothing. I don't know what the banging, the noises were coming from, but everything was fine downstairs. Um, so yeah, felt like a bit of an idiot. Um, then the following night we ended up watching, there's like, it's not a documentary again, it's like the outtakes and the bits that they didn't put into the documentary, they made into like a separate show. So we'll watch that and he was just continually taking the piss out of me saying, oh, the demons are coming, the demons. <laughs> so that's what happened then. But um, yeah, there's a couple of things that I wanted to ask you guys. Um, would you guys be interested in YouTube, me going live on YouTube at any point? Um, because I thought we could do sort of, like I could just do a live stream on YouTube, just sitting talking and like having a chat, catching up. Let me know if that's something that would interest you because it's not as simple as, you know, like going live on Twitches. Um, there's a bit of stuff that goes in sort of you do it's just harder to do but it can be done obviously so um I was thinking about doing that but there's no point in doing it if you guys wouldn't want to you know be there and have a chat and talk and all the rest of it um so let me know what you think of that idea and secondly I'm currently recording on my phone it's like on a wee tripod thing that I'd bought for it because I am using my phone quite a lot whenever I'm out for vlogging um so I thought well I'll I'll get like a, it's like a selfie stick that turns into a tripod kind of situation. Um, What was I saying? Oh yes, um, the reason why I'm recording on my phone at the minute is because um, currently the reason that I haven't had any makeup videos up yet is because I need to set up my laptop external hard drive and camera and have them all connected and to make sure that my camera is recording through my laptop but onto my external hard drive. Um, because obviously to make a full length makeup video, I don't know if I'd have the space on my laptop, so it's just easier to have it going onto the hard drive. Um, so Chris is actually doing that for me right now. So once I get that done, then I can start recording in there. The only thing that will stop me is I'm going to have to sort lighting. Um, because if I can't get the, um, it'll take a wee while to get the lighting right. Otherwise, what's the point in doing makeup videos? Because you can't actually see the true colours of what I'm showing you, you know? Um, so I'm hoping to either have a makeup video up. I'll either be making one this week, or if the lighting is being a bit of an arse, then I'll do it the following week. Um, but yeah, it's very close. We're very close to being able to move into some makeup content. And truth be told, like before I became a live streamer on Twitch, I had always wanted to do makeup like always um and I just I never had the balls really to do it I was scared in case I got tore to pieces um but now obviously like I'd been a streamer for a few years so like I have experience in like streaming and putting myself out there so I'm not as frightened anymore I'm still nervous don't get me wrong like I'm terrified of like making the first video and stuff like that but it's just it'll be a snowball effect once the first one's out of the way they'll get easier and easier you know um so that is what the plan is anyway um i'm trying to think what else have i done i've just been getting out for walks and stuff all week um my brother has been in england with his missus there over visiting her family um she is from Newcastle upon Tyne 
So all week we have been going up and down every day to feed the cats, clean out their bowls, sort their litter tray, give them a bit of company and stuff. So I've just been walking up and down there and then obviously we had that date night at the farm. Then today is Sunday. Um, I'm going to take you with me um, on our walk up to my brother's house because there's like a nice park and stuff like that. Um, I think that you probably will have seen a clip, maybe, of something funny I've seen in the park. But um, yeah, vid or the vlog's not done yet, but I just wanted to come on and talk to you guys regardless because there's a lot of like clips of the farm and everything like that, but not an awful lot of me talking to you and I had things to say. Um, so hopefully... Hopefully I'm going to have a makeup video. It'll be within the next two weeks. 100%. I know that I've been like teasing you guys with it for ages now. But it's just getting the time to set everything up and whatnot. But we're almost done now. So I'm all excited. But anyway, I'm going to let you go. Um, I will see regardless of what happens. Whether there's makeup video and stuff that goes up or not. I will definitely see you next Sunday. Because I'll, I'll even try and vlog setting up the lights and stuff like that. Because I'll have, like everything will be set up there and I can just use my phone to record on. Because I'm not going to be using my camera unless I'm actually sitting down to film properly. It's too much of a kerfuffle trying to like get everything connected up and whatnot. And I use um a dummy battery with my camera so it's just continuous power and I'm not having to constantly change the battery. So that means it's sort of, I'm going to have it rooted to one sort of particular spot. But anyway, you don't need to know this. I don't know why I'm telling you, but I will fill you in and let you say everything regardless. But we've got everything basically that we need now. But anyway, let me know about the live stream idea. Um, what do you guys think? Would you want one or just keep on putting out videos? Um, the summer is definitely coming here, so I will be out and about more and I will be trying to vlog. And um, anyway... I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube-y stuff. And let me know what you've been doing over the past week too. I am interested to find out and get some inspiration for things that I can do. <laughs> anyway, take care. I love you all. And I'll see you all later. Bye.